Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but it's well worth your time, especially if you're an aspiring filmmaker that's planning on making that big move just to pursue your filmmaking dreams. Ever since I decided I wanted to be a filmmaker, I've asked myself the question of whether or not I should move to big cities like LA and just basically pursue the filmmaking dream. I've thought really long and hard about it, and I've decided that for the time being, I'm probably not going to be moving out to LA to be a filmmaker, and I'm going to give out five reasons why. So let's dive right into it. Now number one on my list is the cost of living. Now anybody who's a filmmaker knows that LA is a very notorious place for being very expensive to live in. I mean, the cost of living there is just astronomical. And as an aspiring filmmaker, finances are absolutely crucial. Between sky-high rents, utilities, and things like living expenses, it's really easy to get caught up in just trying to make ends meet. This financial pressure can take away from the creative process, and it puts a lot of unnecessary strain on you. Plus, if you're just starting out, it's gonna take you a while before you can make any income from any of your work. And in the meantime, you gotta be able to pay the bills, especially if you're a working adult. So moving to LA might mean sacrificing what comfortable living that you do have right now where you live, just for the sake of pursuing your filmmaking career. Number two is competition. Anybody who's anybody knows that LA is the entertainment center of the United States. There are filmmakers from all around that are just trying to get their feet wet and trying to get a job. And if you go into LA, it's very likely that you'll meet your doppelganger, meaning that you're gonna be coming across another person who's in the same exact boat as you are. They say that if you're in LA, and you get a ride by an Uber driver, most likely your Uber driver is an aspiring actor or an aspiring screenwriter. You'll be surrounded by incredibly talented individuals all vying for the same opportunities that you are. And while healthy competition can be motivating, it can also be very overwhelming. Breaking into the film industry is already tough enough as it is, and the pressure to stand out in a city filled with filmmakers can be really, really daunting. Sometimes it's better to shine brighter in a smaller pond and build up your skill sets and portfolio before you even dive into the Hollywood ocean. Reason number three is networking. While LA is a hot spot for networking events and industry gatherings, it's really important to note that making genuine connections, especially with other filmmakers, takes a lot of time, effort, and oftentimes a little bit of luck. It's not as simple as showing up to an event and expecting to land your dream job. Real life, especially in the filmmaking world, doesn't work that way. And it could take years before your connections bear any fruit. In the meantime, I'd rather build a strong network in my current location and build off of my skill sets. Another factor is shooting locations. And while LA has got a lot of iconic spots, and trust me, it really does even though I'm from Michigan, but if your filmmaking style relies on a diverse range of filmmaking locations, you can definitely find places in your local area that might be able to offer you more. Different landscapes and settings can add depth and uniqueness to your work. I mean, just think about it. You could be shooting in urban environments, rural landscapes, and historic locations without ever having to travel too far from your current location. Now finally, let's talk about the power of the internet. In today's digital age, geographical boundaries mean less than ever before. With online platforms like YouTube, you can showcase your work worldwide without even having to step foot into LA. You can collaborate with people from around the world, learn from online resources, and you can even secure remote gigs, and all from the comfort of your own home. This just opens up so many possibilities that never existed back in my parents' time. In my parents' day, if you wanted to be a filmmaker, you had to move to LA. But nowadays, with the explosion of the internet, there's just so many possibilities. So there you have it, my top five reasons why I'm probably not going to be moving to LA to be a filmmaker. Of course, every individual's journey is unique, and LA is probably going to be perfect for some people. But right now, that's just not the choice for me. I don't want to take that risk and move out to a new city and have to start over and have to spend years working and grinding in an area where there are no full guarantees. It's not just what you know in LA, but who you know. And with the really stiff competition, the high cost of living, it's just not worth that risk for me. And another thing that I'd like to add, filmmaking isn't just LA and Hollywood. I mean, there are so many films and videos that are made worldwide. I mean, just look at YouTube. Over 20 years ago, YouTube wasn't even a thing. But nowadays, there are millions of YouTube channels with loads and tons of subscribers. And there's always new content being made every single day. And that's just one example. Other examples are things like weddings, real estate, businesses. The opportunities and possibilities are endless so long as you're able to look for them. 
So no, I'm not going to move to LA, at least not right now. I could change my mind sometime in the near future once my skills get to a certain level. But right now, I am going to grow where I'm planted, and I'm going to see where that takes me from there. So thanks for watching guys, and I hope you found that this video was very thought-provoking. And if you like my content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching guys, and if you're a filmmaker, just keep on creating.